Welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today marks the end of Derpy, and finally, everyone is allowed to use the auction house. Wait, I play Iron Man. Never mind! Anyway, over the last five days, I have worked almost non-stop to level up two skills, and ended up getting our first skill to the max level. Today, I will walk you through how I spent over a hundred hours grinding in order to max out our first skill. But before we do that, hit the like button. If you want to see me max out another skill, do me a favor and go hit that subscribe button. I am ridiculously close to 75,000, and once we get there, I'll release a brand new texture pack for you all over in my Discord server. And yeah, I'm, I'm really close, like I'm less than 200 subs away, just double check if you're subscribed, and I hope you enjoy today's video. As you guys know, Mayor Derpy grants a huge boost to the amount of experience you get when leveling skills, so it's most important to grind out skills that you don't already have buffs by previous mayors, and skills that are your least favorite. So without a second thought, I immediately started farming sugarcane. And I'm not talking about just you know, farming for an hour, I mean I farmed over 20 million sugarcane in the last 5 days. And on the final night of Derpy, I managed to get my farming level all the way to level 40. And this is a pretty big deal to me. Now I know some of you are like, yo that's bad, you're not farming 60 yet, but hey listen. You know what, I, I really disliked farming and I'm pretty proud that I got level 40 so uh... <laughs> I don't know, who knows, maybe I'll go to 50 one day, maybe I won't, Let, let's be honest, I probably won't. But nonetheless, it's uh, it's just, I want to start working to get all of my skills to level 40. So, you know, farming, there's the first one done. I'll probably end up doing combat and mining next, since, well, those are just the ones in the list. And I think uh, Mayor Cole is active right now, so we have a big boost to different mining perks, so I'll probably work on that right now. Since I farmed 20 million sugarcane, I ended up having close to 12 stacks of enchanted sugarcane that I had to use on something. And what a better time to grind out alchemy. Now, alchemy is a bit of a weird skill. Basically, the trick is to brew as many speed 6 potions using enchanted sugarcane and glowstone dust as possible in order to level up the skill at ridiculous speeds. The only issue with that, however, is that enchanted cane can be quite expensive. Lucky for us, this is what all of our hours of farming have led up to. And there's one more thing we need to actually fix before getting tens of millions of alchemy experience. And well, I'll let Toad from two days ago take over for a bit. Okay, so now that we have the uh, the sugar cane here, I can actually go ahead and uh, <laughs> well upgrade our, our sheep pet. This is such a disaster, but I got the sheep pet. And uh, well, we needed 512 enchanted mutton, and it's going to take seven days to upgrade it to legendary. I want to do this before I... Uh, do any of my alchemy so we gotta buy seven of these cat flowers three four five six seven and this is just to make sure i don't accidentally over level the pet since i don't really know how to do the thing where you like check how much xp it has so i think it's just gonna be a little bit easier to go ahead and uh get ourselves the legendary sheep right now so there we go we can already see it's already level 98 which is pretty awesome and i mean technically back in my island these uh these potions i already have one round of uh potions done i gotta pick up all of these and, I mean, it's basically just speed pots. There's nothing really here to uh, catch, but I'll uh, stop for the cool stuff. And there we go, the level 100 sheep. At long last, this thing is finally maxed. We can actually go ahead and uh, there's one more thing I want to do with this sheep. And uh, before we take a look at its final stats, and that is to go up here, grab 8 enchanted lapis blocks and 64 books. Go ahead and make a circle around the, uh, the paper right here. And there we go, the textbook. This is going to be the best pet item for our sheep. It's going to increase its pet's intelligence by 100%. So let me just make sure I have the sheep active. Boom. Let's give it the textbook. And let's take a look at these pet stats. 20% more ability damage. 200 intelligence. Reduces the mana cost of abilities by 20. Uh, I don't really know about overheal, but it's like a shield that gives, you know, like a 10% shield for not taking damage for 10 seconds. I guess that's okay. And then uh, most importantly, the dungeon wizard, which gives us more mana inside of dungeons. And there we go. So uh, finally, this sheep is uh, maxed out, which is really nice to have. It's another, uh, what is it? Our third level 100 uh, legendary pet on Iron Man there. Uh, I guess technically the rabbit as well, but it's not really legendary yet, but I'll do that probably here soonish. But I guess now I'll just go ahead and put the rest of this stuff on my whale, since I don't really want to waste any of the XP and I don't actually own a parrot pet, but uh, that's okay. Now that our sheep is level 100, I switched back to our blue whale to put the rest of the experience on it, and about two hours later, this happened. The final million XP, oh my gosh, this is going to be my first actually leveled skill, because I think, uh, yeah. I'm not enchanting 60 yet, so this is actually going to be our proper first maxed out skill in Iron Man. Oh, I have to sell all these potions one more time. So I ended up actually making speed 6, because apparently you make a ton of money off of it, and it looks like I do. I actually ended up making like 3 or so mil from doing this, which is pretty nice. But here we go. The last, oh, oh, wait, wait, the last potions. 
And there it is. Alchemy level 50. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy to be done. Look at that. All right, let's sell the rest of these speed pots. I never want to see them ever, ever again. And there we go. So now our potions last a lot longer. So we're going to have less god potions or less purchasing of god potions. I don't know, man. I've been doing this for so long. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> there we go. Our first maxed out level skill in Iron Man. Our skill average is now 38.5, which is a little bit better than the... What was it? 31.2 when I started Derpy. Next up, definitely going to be maxing out enchanting. But there we go. Our skills are looking a lot, lot better. I'll probably focus on um, combat next. Uh, maybe maybe mining a little bit during, uh, what is it, coals the next mirror? But yeah. Uh, one more thing I want to do with the last bit of sugar cane I have over here before I sell the rest is get 48. And craft ourselves a upgrade to a talisman I've had pretty much since we started this series. So here we go. Go ahead and upgrade our speed ring into the speed artifact. Plus five speed. There we go. That's going to be good to have. And unfortunately, it now doesn't have a reforge, but that's okay. I'll fix that later. We interrupt this episode to bring you another episode of Enchanting Roulette. If you don't know what Enchanting Roulette, basically, we just play the experiment table and try to get something cool. So let's throw our Titanic Potion. This is actually my last Titanic Potion, so this is going to be a pretty high stakes episode. But we're going with the maxed out metaphysical experiment, and we're going to see if we can get something cool. So, so far, we've just seen more experience. This is actually... Ooh, instant find. Um, I'm not feeling particularly risky today. Let's do that. Yep, looks like our gamble actually did pay off there. Titan Killer 5, not too much uh, hype over that enchant. Thunderbolt 5. You know, nothing nothing really fancy we've seen here. Just kind of duplicates. Uh, I guess we can keep going. Oh, it looks like I'm actually going to not... Ooh, ooh, I'm going to risk it here because I want the Titanic. Oh, we didn't actually get it. Uh, is there 133 on this table? I'm just gonna guess. Dang it. Uh, there was actually no Titanic on this, so unfortunately, uh, well, this may be the last episode of Enchanting Roulette, because, well, uh, oh, look at that! Uh, what is that? Taming 33, and we leveled up our whale, good stuff, and, uh, tomorrow it looks like we're gonna get, uh, what is that? Is that gonna be Enchanting 59? Wow, I can't believe we actually made it this far. We're almost done with Enchanting in total. Hey, maybe that'll be our next skill, who knows? Anyways, back to your regularly scheduled toad. With our first level 50 skill in hand and our second level 40, I was finally able to put down the sugarcane hoe and go to sleep. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I farmed another wart for like 6 hours so I could stream the next day. But fortunately for us, since we leveled up our farming a significant amount, we were actually able to make a bit over 3 million coins an hour farming nether wart, which is a significant upgrade from my less than 2 million per hour grinds from the old days. And you'll actually see in the next episode why I had to grind so much wart to get farming 40. It's, uh, not ideal. Not gonna spoil it, but make sure you're subscribed to see that, because I may have lost the most important item in the game. <laughs> now, there's one more thing I'd like to do this episode, and that's introduce my next Iron Man project. Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit off the script here for the rest of this episode, but basically, the next project I want to do is going to involve slayers and starting slayers, or at least a little bit more of the advanced slayers. I did a little bit of slayers back when I wanted to get my where is my glorious glorious, yes, my reaper mask. I just do a little bit of zombie slayer, but I never even slayed the tier 5 version of it. So I was looking through the weapons and well, if we look at the reaper falchion, I know some people are going to yell at me for the pronunciation of that, but I'm going to call it a reaper falchion. Uh, it requires this revenant falchion, which takes, you know, some diamonds and a zombie heart. I get those zombie hearts pretty darn easily. And I was looking at them like, hey, the Revenant Falchion is not hard to get. And then I saw that all you need to get the Reaper Falchion, which is like the second best sword for the um, fighting the tier 5 zombie, is you just need one revived heart. I mean, I already got one from the Reaper Mask, and we don't actually need any string whatsoever for this. Which means the grind is not really going to take me very long. All I need is a ton of flesh and a ton of, what are they called? Uh, diamonds. Because looking at the revived heart, all it is is two crystallized hearts. So basically it's two crystallized hearts and nine, uh, ten zombie hearts. So, uh, what is that? 40 stacks of enchanted rotten flesh and then just like eight stacks of enchanted diamond? Honestly, that seems really good. Especially considering we have this one for all book for it. Since, uh, I didn't really know what to do with that. I was either going to put it on a giant sword or just kind of hold on to it until I figured out what to do with it. But I figured using it on the Reaper Falchion is actually a pretty good idea because we might be able to take out that. Uh, additionally, I am actually saving up for a second wither set. I know I kind of just spoiled, but I actually ended up getting a second wither chest plate. You'll see that in the next episode of Iron Man. Additionally, with the one thing I was mentioning earlier that I may have lost. But uh, we're working on getting a at least three-fourths Necron set, and I want to get another helmet. 
And this is going to be the tarantula helmet, but it's going to be a little bit more work. Because while the iron is very easy, this tarantula silk is not very easy. Because it takes not only a little bit of tarantula web, that's the really easy part, but it takes enchanted flint. And this is actually going to take a pretty long time to get the one and a half stacks of enchanted flint. Unfortunately, I missed my chance when uh, Mayor Diaz was elected about a month ago to get that since I wasn't thinking, but we're going to have to go ahead and grind that anyways. So I think being able to do that to get the um, the tier 5, what is it, the tier 5 uh, revenant horse, try and get a new, uh, basically the end goal of all of this is to get a weapon called the Axe of the Shredded. And to get this, we need a whopping four stacks of resonant viscera and then the Reaper Falchion along with four of these special shard of the shredded that only drop from the tier 5 enderman or the tier 5 zombie. So uh, the Revenant Visker is going to be a pretty big issue for that, but I don't think it's going to take too, too long. I mean, if you look at the Reaper Mask here, uh, I'm pretty sure we actually already needed four. Oh, we needed two stacks of the Visker, so it's going to be a little bit of a grind, but I think this is going to be our next big project on Iron Man. It'll help us a lot in dungeons, since I know it's a pretty good weapon that people use. I'm of course still going to be going for the other two Necron Scrolls that we have. I haven't stopped doing that. I'm grinding dungeons just about every day over on my Twitch channel, so if you don't want to miss that, look in the description for my Twitch. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Iron Man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, drop a like on the video. And once again, subscribe. We are this, this close to 75,000, and you'll be able to get this own texture pack for yourself. This is my 75k texture pack that I'm going to be happy to release as soon as we get that big, big milestone of 75,000. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care.